everybody, it's Wrecker Rider, and welcome back to Let's Play Wario Land 3! I hope you have your Ring of Endure Elements ready, because we're headed back into the Cave of Flames to do double duty! Need high jump to get up here. Uh, and this is gonna have the red treasure in it, so we gotta go... Three, four, five, six, seven. That's probably why I got them mixed up, because one's six and one's seven. Now, if I remember, this chest is tricky to get to. Damn it. I mean, I got a music coin out of it, but... They're nice for paying for green fees, but I don't need to get them right now. There we go. That's the first half of it. Now we gotta get Fat Wario all the way back here, and if I remember, that's not exactly easy to do. Lots of... and. Okay, I'm just gonna split the screen. Is it just me, or do enemies bounce a lot farther when you have the high jump? I don't get one. It's weird. Here we go. Now we should be able to get to the red chest. Yeah, why people just wanted to talk about NSA, because at a birthday party, the current events is the last thing you want to talk about, typically. In here we get the car! I don't know about you, but I used to think that this was a, that this looked like kind of a, not a love seat, but a recliner, but uh, it's a car. That's half our business in the Cave of Flames done. Let's go back in and get the green treasure. Uh, the red treasure you need just high jump to get, uh, but you can't get access to this one until after you have the detonator, because you may have seen it, there's a bomb in the way. Uh, this chest is actually kind of irritating to get. Because you have to be invisible while jumping all over these platforms, there's enemies getting in your way... And you have no idea where you are aside from the occasional flash like that. Now I'm just gonna double check some- I'm gonna double check some stuff up here. Another way you can track your position is by grabbing an enemy. Okay, that's what I thought. I gotta light myself on fire here. And do some really silly platforming. Nope, not gonna, I'm not gonna make it now. Nope, nowhere close. Why do I always jump early like that? I mean, I guess if I get lucky I might be able to make it now, but I don't it. Cool. That's not easy to do. Like, those are some fairly difficult jumps. And I got rolled back. Whatever. Also, why are there... Why are there lava fish here? Well, they look like regular fish, but they're jumping out of the freaking lava. I need to get another invisibility potion, don't I? Yes, I do, because there's a gate there. I like the grin on Wario's face when he grabs the potion and goes invisible. That's a nice touch. Thankfully, that doesn't kill it. I don't-
don't think I would really care for uh, an invisibility power, because I'm one of those people that that like showing off a little bit more. Because I know our party in the in the uh, Ravnica campaign, uh, we've acquired a ring of invisibility, and my character explicitly did not want it because of his personality. Here we get the sack. I believe this has to be combined with something else before I can do anything with it. Yeah, it does. It has to be combined with the next thing we're going to get, which is in the stagnant swamp. It's the blue chest, which we can finally get access to. I'm only going down here where the gray key is because it's faster this way. So I need to get down here. There's a lot of breakable blocks around here, so there's the potential for quite a few coins. A lot of blue coins around here. And remember, those are also worth 10. Now, I gotta be very careful about opening this up. Uh, so I don't kill this guy, because I need him to sting me. Uh, and let me float up to where the blue key and On the other side, the blue door is. I want to say this is the first blue key that is visible in the game, uh, but you won't be able to get to it. So you'll be able to see what the blue key looks like. Oh, that was bad. That should be enough. I'm probably also going to be doing the stages in order when, when I go to get music coins. And that'll be it for the Stagnant Swamp. We have all four. And here we get the Eye Storm. This one combined with the sack. I believe we'll create some platforms for us in the first level. Yeah, it will. Uh, but we're not going to head back there quite yet. There's one more treasure I want to get, and it's in the Colossal Hole. Uh, it doesn't matter whether it's day or night, because now that we have high jump, I can get on the- I can, uh, like, ride the owl at night. I think there's a music coin somewhere up here. Yeah, it's on the other side, but I don't need to go grab it now. which one leads to the key. Uh, one thing that's very interesting about these snakes is if you hack in the appropriate... Oh, oh that's a chest. If you hack in the... Like, if you hack the, the game to, to get to the stage early, uh, these snakes will be here even if you uh, haven't... Act even if you haven't activated them in the other levels. I find that very interesting. Also, getting set on fire here is very bad because of the way the loading zones are in here. Uh, you'll find yourself just going all over the place. Here we get the locomotive! Nothing special about it, just another treasure that we're going to need for 100%. Now we can head back to the first stage and get the green chest there, since since we have access to it now. Hard to 
hard to believe that we get the first two chests here really quickly, but we don't get the we don't get the third the third one here until after we have about sixty percent. You could access this. Oh wait, no, I don't want to go in here yet because that's where the chest is, and I know where the key is. There's actually quite a bit to this stage. And let me tell you, it plays a lot different when you have uh, when you have all these power-ups. That's what we wanted uh, to get up here for was the green key. I think this is just a music point. Yeah, it is. But I also don't want to get set on fire because that would be a waste of time. When things involve fire, I want to be the guy setting people on fire, not being set on fire myself. Oh, that was really convenient. It dropped me off right at the door. Can't do anything about these, uh... About these leaves... About this room until we have the leaves activated. From here, it's just a bunch of trivial jumping to get to the green chest. Which is right back here. Contains a very special item. The web feet. This is a swimming power-up for Wario, and will let him do something that he is unable to do in any other game. If you press the B button with the web feet, Wario will be able to swim against currents. This will enable us to get the eight music coins in a lot of stages. I think I got time for one more. Yeah, I got time for one. I'm gonna get the next chest in, uh, the Steep Canyon South 4. Because it's not a plot item, it's just a bonus item. And it would help if you went the right direction, Raiko. We have almost all the stages open. Another thing that's very nice about having the web feet is I can just swim all the way to the end. Uh, all it takes to really swim against the current effectively is a good rhythm. But you won't just be able to float against it, you'll have to actually... Oh, that's... I went too far, didn't I? Yeah, I did. I was thinking of the other area. This extra area where the red key is is where we wanted to swim against the current. You may have noticed a secret... Uh, when we got the red key here, you may have noticed a pipe beyond where the red chest is. Uh, you can only get here after you have the web key. Uh, unfortunately, they put the the key behind the uh, behind the chest, so it's going to take a bit of doing to get at. And this is actually a lot more reminiscent of the sections from Wario Land 2 with the owl. Uh, one thing you may notice is that uh, the owls here, uh, the owls here are. Uh, the owls here don't don't fly so high at night that you need the high jump to get them, which I find very interesting because the ones in the colossal hole were out of reach. Uh, you are forced to collect that key in this mission. It'll be nice for something later that I that I'll get to demonstrate uh, after the main let's play is over, since I've got two bonus episodes planned, I think. Should be two. Yeah, it's two.
Yeah, this will be our final chest for the episode. In here we get the telephone! And that's one of those old-timey telephones, too, isn't it? Doesn't have touch tone or nothing. Uh, in any case, we're out of time for today. Next time on Let's Play Wario Land 3, we will continue to make use of the web feet, and maybe we'll be able to get to the, the final power-up, but I doubt it. See you later, guys.